Over the past three years, I've read 34 books on storytelling. While reading these books, I realized that there are three main components that differentiate an average story from a phenomenal story. To save you hours and hours of reading all of these books, I want to share the three big ideas that I learned from all these books. Let's dive right into it. Big idea number one. That first idea comes from Paul Smith, the author of Sell With A Story. For that, I quickly want you to remember the last time you watched Star Wars. But even if you haven't watched it, don't worry, you'll still get it. In Star Wars, you have the bad guys, right? The stormtroopers. And in every single Star Wars, they're just being slaughtered everywhere. Everywhere they're just dying. Now, for those of you who watched it, how do you feel when stormtroopers are killed? feel nothing, right? I feel absolutely nothing. Now, why is that? It's because they're faceless, nameless creatures we don't know anything about. We don't care if they die. Let me give you an example. If I start my story and say, well, uh, there was this guy that I used to work with, he got fired. You don't care, right? Why would you? But if I start now my story and I share, well, um, there was this guy, Damien, who I used to work with back in Germany. He was really my favorite coworker. Um, he was always just playing games, you know, dressing up. Everyone in the office just loved him. Well, now, you'd care much more, right, if you got fired. So, big idea number one, bring your characters to life. How can you bring them to life? You can describe their physical characteristics, you can describe their personality traits and quirks, and you can describe their hopes, goals, and dreams. Anything like that will make the audience care. So, remember for your story, don't be a stormtrooper. While this is important, lots of storytellers already do that. The next big idea, that's really the one that turns any average story into an incredible story. So, big idea number two. That big idea comes from the author of May to Stick, Chip Heath. Let me share a tiny but beautiful example that illustrates that big idea. In 1979, Craig Trounce was a store associate at a Nordstrom in Fairbanks, Alaska. And on that one day, he noticed something very, very odd. There was this guy rolling in his tires at the entrance. Craig went up and he asked if he could help. And that guy said, well, yes, I would like to return my tires. Craig said, uh, sir, you know, we're a clothing retailer. We don't sell tires. But the man insisted and he said, no, no, but that's exactly the building where I bought it in. It turned out that he had bought these tires from the previous tenant that was before notes from years back. First, Craig was a little bit like, what should I do with that guy, right? But then he thought, I'm gonna do what feels right. He calls the local tire agency and he asks them to get an estimate of the value. He then takes the tires and gives the refund. He gave a refund for a product that Nordstrom didn't even have. <laughs> Isn't that an incredible story? Now, why is that such an incredible story? because of one key element, surprise. That story had two major moments of surprise. One, when that guy rolled in his tires into that department store. When does that ever happen? And second, when Craig decided to give a refund for a product that they didn't even have. Major surprise. Now, we as humans, we are great at spotting patterns. When we recognize something as predictable, we tune out. When you share your story and your listeners know more or less where this is going. They can predict it. They will tune out. They'll rather think what they're going to have for dinner than listen to your story. Now, how can you prevent that? How can you get people to pay attention and also how to keep that attention? Big idea number two, bring in surprise. Surprise refers to anything that is unexpected. Anything that your listeners didn't see coming. That can be an unusual activity, an unusual event, an unusual reaction anything that breaks that pattern of what is expected. But sure, sometimes we may not have this major surprise moment. If that's the case, you definitely want to make sure to include the next one. So big idea number three. That big idea comes from 
how to tell a story from the producers of The Moth. Now, most of the stories that we hear are usually party or holiday stories. When I was younger, these were the only stories that I told. Man, you won't believe what just happened. I played beer pong the entire night, just got so fucked up. I know, what a disgusting person, right? <laughs> anyway, while these type of stories can be entertaining, they don't leave a lasting impression. Why is that? Because they don't have an element of change. In average stories, the characters stay more or less at the same level. Let's say they start off happy, then crazy stuff happens, and then they're still happy. Nothing changes. In the best stories, the character starts off as one version, but then turns out as a completely new version at the end. Let me give you an example with uh, the movie Avatar. Um, at the beginning of the movie Avatar, Jack Sully, who's this disabled marine, feels lost and just looks for meaning in his life, right? But then he changes into that brave leader who loves and protects Pandora's nature. I should challenge you. You can take any movie or any great story and look for the transformation of that character. I'll guarantee every single decently successful movie has a major transformation. Big idea number three, show the change. For your story, if you were, let's say, out of shape at the beginning of your story, now you're running a marathon. If you hated your sister, now you're best friends. Or if you were terrified of public speaking, now you love being on stage. Show the change. Any great story must have an element of change how the character transforms. No exceptions. These are the three big ideas. But one question that I get asked every single time is, what books do you recommend? What I'll do is, I'll link a video to the five books that I recommend. So go ahead, check out that video, and I'll see you in there. Ciao, ciao.